on the 21st, we will be in Hero Square and around the island encouraging all members of the public to support this worthy cause. Um, we're encouraging them to empty their pockets, their houses, every nook and cranny as we try to find these one cent pieces and bring them back into the central bank. So we're asking all Barbadians, public sector, private sector, everybody, school children, they're the best people to actually find the one cents for us because they don't know what the value is but they think it's really a lot of money. So bring them in to us and make the dream of the Alzheimer's Association a reality. Again, backyard come for them so we go when they call us we go that's our that's what we do um, we have been collecting from the very first day our at our weekly meetings we have been collecting cents um, we have a big red pail in our club which gets filled every single week and then we turn them over to the next collection center so our members are what we call ambassadors for the project and we don't turn down. We even walk on the streets and pick up the one cent pieces as we're walking. So people actually think that we are um yeah. <laughs> vagrants. <laughs> but they don't understand what it means to us to actually make sure that we meet this target of five million cents. We feel that with that commitment the commitment of our members and, and by extension our families, um, we will surpass the 5 million cent target. The College of Ministries for Women Care in Warrens as a centre to attract civil servants in that building and near Renfrew of that building. And you know why the Ministry of Social Care? Because that is a ministry along the Ministry of Health and Family that's been very concerned with the whole challenge of Alzheimer's. In fact, you would have heard of the white paper on aging. A uh, major policy paper is coming soon on the Minister Steve Blackett's recent announcement, and Alzheimer's plays a very important part in that document. So let me just tell you the other environment, the Prime Minister's office, of course, and that is really government headquarters. That's where you have the Ministry of Finance as well, and you have Mrs. Smith as well, and of course, the Minister's departments, then to secure this effort. And then also the office of the Attorney General and that houses the Department of Council and Ministry of Public Affairs. So we're looking for large catchment areas and we are encouraged to come along with our staff to make sure the public works in the National Insurance Building, which houses the Ministry of Health and the Department of Health. And we are being treated as a hospital as well. They could have been that with a lovely point, but we are finalizing everything. somewhere where the persons that are having diseases sufferers can be comfortable because as you know they wonder a lot and wondering is something that is a big problem with the people with Alzheimer's disease. So on collection day I'm hoping that you will come out and support us. Already a number of people have been coming up the stairs at the Alzheimer's office and dropping cents off. I've never seen that office so busy. And what's interesting about it is that they're not just coming because they have to bring the sense, they're coming because they have relative disease and are so desperate to get the type of care that for quite some time, many of you may know, we have been a struggling organization trying to um, educate Barbados on what Alzheimer's is about. And I think it's within the last year or so, a number of persons have been coming forward to let us know who is out there that have Alzheimer's disease. And believe me or not, there are so many people out there with the disease that we do need to get something in place for them to go where they can get the, the, the proper kind of care that is necessary. So at the Barbados Alzheimer's Association, we are looking at a daycare center. 
at your hair center where you can drop the person off, go do your shopping, go get your hair done, go get your nails done, and all those wonderful things that you should do to yourself. Because caring for a person with Alzheimer's disease is not the easiest job in the world. Believe me, there's so many diseases out there, but we don't need them. But let me tell you, Alzheimer's is one of the worst because you lose everything uh, that is you. Everyone is doing things for you. You have no saying what you do for you. So you have to be very careful as to where. So Some of the areas are fenced off. Oh, uh, really? But on the main streets and things like that, I don't think it would be the ideal location for an Alzheimer's Center. It has to be somewhere a little bit more. On the 16th, there will be a church service at St. Lucy Parish Church at 8 o'clock in the morning. On the 19th, it's a seminar, but it's all closed off right now for participants. And on the 20th, we have a Canadian doctor coming who will be lecturing at the Salt Garden House on the 20th at 7 p.m. So those are the main events that's happening. And of course, we will have boxes and so on where you can still bring your sense. And also, you can drop your sense off at the Alzheimer's office.